Hello guys, I'm back. Today let's talk about what is T7 Plus components and how to add them on Aspen High Seas. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. Follow my profile and like this video to have hundreds of content related to chemical process engineering and plant design. Let's start with what is C7 plus components. When you are dealing with hydrocarbon, sometimes when you do a characterization of your hydrocarbon, for instance, you have a natural gas and you do a chromatography of the natural gas stream, you will receive a report with the main components of your stream. And the, the, you will have, for instance, methane, ethane, propane, in the etc and you will have a fraction that will not represent too much to be individual uh, to be shown as an individual component to your stream to as a component to your stream so in this way it's common that for instance components uh, fractions of the hydrocarbon stream that is equal to seven or higher than seven hydrocarbons in the, in the composition is quantified as just one component in your gas composition. So in this way, when we are talking about C7 plus components, we are talking about all hydrocarbon components that they have seven hydrocarbons or more. So in this way, for instance, if you go to the Aspen High Seas and you need to add this kind of component, you will not find it as a standard component because on Aspen High Seas, you will find individual components for the hydrocarbons. For instance, methane, ethane, propane, ibutane, and butane, and etc. until you reach the n-eptane, that is C7, and C7 plus represents all components from C7. So C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, and etc. All of them are combined in just one component that is shown in your chromatography analysis, for instance. So to have the 100% composition of your stream, you will need to add this fraction. The summing up of these fractions and as you are not able to add a pure component with the, these characteristics, you will need to add a hypothetical component to your Aspen High Seas process simulation or any other process simulation software that you are using. Talking about Aspen High Seas, so considering that I have, for instance, methane, ethane, propane, and C7 plus components, uh, as I am not able to add the C7 plus as pure components, you can see here on my screen, pure components in the list of components, I need to shift the selection from pure components to hypothetical. If I am dealing with hypothetical solids, it's possible also to do the simulation, but in this case, we are talking about hypothetical. So when I shift the selection, now the information for, for the addition of my component changes. And I can add the hypothetical component as a group. So if I specify the initial boiling point and final boiling point and add the interval of my components, and the method is create a batch of hypo, hypothetical components, if I click on generate hypo, I will have a list of or uh, a series of hypothetical components to be added to my process simulation. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to have a group or a batch of hypotheticals. I want to have just one hypothetical component that represents the C7+. Plus. So in this case, I will go to method and I will add uh, uh, shift from batch of hypos to edit hypos. So in this way, now I don't have more the initial boiling point and final boiling point. And to do the characterization of this specific hy hypothetical fluid, 
for hypothetical component, I need to click on new hypo. I can identify it as C7 plus. So C7 plus. This is this will be my hypothetical component. So what are the minimum required information that I must have to be able to simulate this hypothetical component? I need to add at least the molecular weight and the liquid density. So in this way, how where I find I find those informations? There are many ways to do to have the, those information. One way is to have the characterization or the analysis of your component in your chromatography. You need to ask for the laboratory to specify those information for you, or you can look for papers, researchers where we have at least a reference on how to add these components to your component list. So here I will show you a reference where we have the uh, the normal range for C7 plus components as uh, in a fluid. In this paper, we can see on table one the ranges of data used to, for developing the models for the estimation of C7 plus properties. So I can use this as a reference for specifying my hypothetical component on Aspen High Seas. So, what kind of information I have here? I have the Average molecular weight and the molecular weight in grams per mole. I have the normal boiling point in Hankine and I have a specific gravity. So I need to add to my process simulation at least the normal boiling point or the molecular weight plus the, the density of my component. So in this way, as I have a Minimum, maximum, and average range for normal boiling point. I will use this information here 924.4 Hankine. So let's use this information on Aspen High Seas to generate the C7 plus hypothetical component. Observe that I need to specify the normal boiling point as Celsius degree and I have the information as Hankine. So in this way, I need to do a conversion. And in a simple conversion, I have 240 Celsius degree as the equivalent for the Hankine information. Or I can I type the information and choose what is the unit of measurement. In this way, if I type 924 and I change to Hankine, the Aspen High Seas will convert the information for Celsius because it's the basis of the normal boiling point in this session. So now I can click on estimate, estimate unknown to verify if the Aspen High Seas will be able to create this component only with this information. So when I click on this, to verify that the other informations already have already was filled by Aspen High Seas. And now let's just do a quick check to, with the paper. Is those values close or not from the ones verified by the author? Let's see just the molecular weight and also the liquid density. If we verify the results, we can see that the molecular weight is 196 and we have molecular weight as 192. So they are very similar and the liquid density kilograms per cubic meter is 818 and we have here around specific gravity as 800 0.820 and if we multiply that by the density of the water or the mass density of the water we have the uh, liquid density so they are very very similar and with that you can proceed with your process simulation on Aspen High Seas once the component was created, you just need to select it or highlight it and add to your component list and with that proceed with your process simulation. If you need to get more familiar with the Aspen High Seas, how to start your first process simulation on Aspen High Seas, take a look on this video that will appear to you right now. 
Is it guys share this video with students, graduates and engineers to help me reach more people around the world. This is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.